Hi all Singapore, this is Nadine and I'm here in town with Charlotte Tilbury. My go-to makeup look? I mean, I it, it really depends like on the event I'm going to or who I'm hanging out with. My go-to definitely has to be more charismatic, dark, bold, um, but I do like a natural, very like fun and light look as well, but it would definitely have to be more bold. <laughs> Honestly, with lip blur, it applies so easily and it's so smooth and moisturizing that I don't really need to like apply anything else beforehand or prep. But in terms of like actually applying the product, I think just following your natural lip line is the best. I mean, don't overline too much <laughs> and just be gentle with it. And because it's so smooth, I think it's gonna look great either way, so. Those are my tips. <laughs> I think for weekend brunch, it would have to be Pillow Talk. It's more soft and the color is more bright and bright in a very muted way, I would say. And then for a girl's night out, I would do Ruby Blur, which is what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> um, it's very, very bold. I think it screams confidence and girl's night out vibes. So yeah, it has to be Ruby Blur for a girl's night out. Three items. This is very real. And <laughs> for me, it would have to be like, number one, face powder, because my face gets so oily throughout the day and like I need, you know, blurring for my T-zone. And the second product would definitely have to be a lip product of some sort, whether that be um, lip blurs <laughs> or some sort of tint or tinted moisturizer, or tinted lip balm um, or a lipstick. It really depends on what I'm going for in the day and then my last one would have to be some sort of blush because I love like a flushed like red cheeky look so yeah those are the three and that's like all my friends know me for that like those three products I always like have it with me and when my friends like need blush for example they always ask me because like people don't really carry blush around in Singapore, I got so many recommendations, but honestly, I'm most excited for chicken and rice. I know that's kind of basic, but everyone was like, you have to try it. So I'm excited. I mean, I tried Stingray last night, Sting grilled Stingray. It was so good. I fell in love. And then some like sticks of like chicken and satay. It was, oh, I ate like 10. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love all food. So I'm, I'm excited to try everything, but definitely chicken and rice. <laughs> Night out. <laughs> um, I just love going out. Like I love meeting new people. I do have a low social battery. So after a night out, I like stay at home for like four or five days straight, but I do love a good night out. <laughs> um, I like matte lip because I think it just looks more sophisticated and elegant. I do like glossy too when I'm like going out with friends and you know, it's daytime out, but I think matte is very iconic, so. Red lip. <laughs> um, nude, because my skin tone is very like olive, I would say, like slightly yellow undertone. I feel like I look good with vibrant colors instead of like nudey kind of skin tone colors, so. Oh, lacrosse. I mean, I love soccer, but it has to be lacrosse. Like my heart is with lacrosse. I started it later than soccer, but I have so much fun with it. And I just have really good memories back in high school with my squad of girls. We weren't the best team, but we had a lot of fun. So lacrosse. <laughs> TikTok or Instagram? <laughs> Um, probably TikTok. I mean, I love Instagram because I get to like look at what other people are doing and I follow stories and DMs a lot. But TikTok, my FYP is like hilarious. Like I'm always sending my friends TikToks and they never reply to me and I don't even think they watch it, but <laughs> I'm on TikTok like way too many hours a day. So probably TikTok. <laughs> Oh, English, like English 100%, like no question. <laughs> um, some people, on, when I was on Netflix for Singles Inferno, some people thought that I was like speaking English on purpose to like look cool or like, I don't know, just speak English. I was like, no, that's not what happened. Like, I'm really just not super comfortable with Korean. Um, a fluent English speaker, I'm a native English speaker. So yeah, it definitely has to be English. My first language, vlogging or modeling. I love both. But I feel like vlogging because for me, I get to be more of like myself and show more of like 
my personality because I'm really shy, but when it comes to vlogging, I don't know, like I'm just like very comfortable with it. <laughs> um, but I love modeling as well. It's like being in front of the camera and just posing and I don't know, you get to show and convey either a brand and their mission. I think it's very unique and fun in its own way, but personally it has to be vlogging. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with it. Oh, Inferno, 100%. And not because like, <laughs> not because of like my previous Paradise dates. Like I've, all, all my dates were great, but I just loved Inferno. Like coming out, it's been over a year now since I filmed. I think the memories that I remember the most and that were the most enjoyable, I think were ones on Inferno. I just love that. Like being on the beach and like, if it wasn't for the cameras and trying to look good, I would have been like having so much fun. I mean, I did have so much fun, but um, because of the cameras and like, I had to look good. I felt a little like not super comfortable, but that's like my like my area. <laughs> I wanna like move to Hawaii one day or like move to the beach slash countryside. So it was like living a dream. Bye, El Singapore. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I had so much fun in Singapore and I hope to be back again. Bye.